54th Street, 55th Street. They have uh, two outdoor dining structures on fire. They transmitted a 1075 due to the volume of fire. We just missed flames by a couple minutes, but we can't be everywhere all the time. They're in the process of knocking one of them down. I'm gonna go check it out over there. I'm forcing entry. It looks like it started in the front side of this. It's a rather elaborate, large uh, Alba. They have two line struts, two lines in operation. One on both sides of the structure. This is all. It looks like it was going pretty good. The whole side of the top is missing there. They're tearing it apart. They gotta tear it apart to get anything out of there that's left in there, in the wood. minutes is a lifetime in a fire so but this was a small not a small shed but hold on nine announcing all hands under control box 902 for the address in front of the address 125 west 553 between 6th and 7th avenue for a dining truck on fire and announcing all hands up at mountain box 902 in front of 125 west 55th street 6th 7th avenue for two outdoor dining trucks on fire. Fire is under control. Four twenty. Division three. 
Okay. All right, so just to enlighten you on this, they, uh, they put these structures out on the street. Sometimes, mysteriously, they catch fire. This one caught fire on one side. This is a very elaborate, big one. As you can see, it caught fire on one side and it extended this shed on this side that they're taking apart. So the flames were either reaching out, which it doesn't look like to me, I don't know, or they, uh, somebody may have lit them both. Uh, they're gonna wash down on the other side over there, so saying that structure is on that side this one's on this side it's much smaller the flames on here I don't know if they reached over there is a possibility but you really can't tell so nobody knows what they had going on here sure uh, sure is a little weird in the middle of the night it's like 4 in the morning or whatever They might spray over here. I gotta move out. These structures are very elaborate that they put out, put up downtown. Oh, there comes the water. I knew they were gonna spray over there. Let me go around the other side. <coughs> There's another one here. Um. Let me go over there. Looks very sinister in the middle of the night. Alright, they're still doing wash down here. He's gonna do each one. Thank you. 
They're hitting a little hot spot. There's still some in the wood. We got little embers here and there. Getting uh, smoke, smoke in one of the hotels in this area. I'm sure that the smoke is residual from this. You can have reports they get in a call for smoke at the hotel 136 West 5-5-401. Two minutes earlier we would have got some planes but like I said we can't be everywhere we were uptown today hold up, hold up. Hold up. I wonder if they're gonna knock it down or they're just gonna leave it like that some of them look so burnt some of the columns that they look like they'll fall over on their own They sent units to the hotel to check it out, but I'm sure there's residual smoke from this job. They're using the uh, thermal reader, so see if there's anything else left. So they released the squad and the rescue. I'm gonna go around the other side to show you guys how big this thing and how elaborate it was. There comes the water, and got them there. All right, so look how big this thing is. It's almost a quarter city block. It's called Quality Bistro. It goes from there all the way over here. Very elaborate, very elaborate. It has like a 
green leaves on the outside and uh, all wood tables and such look at it probably better than the restaurant I don't even know where the restaurant is there's the restaurant up there quality bistro it's one of those very high-end restaurants for the uh, business community to eat big steaks lobsters and shrimp with scallops and all of that you see the little green leaves on it so I'm trying to figure out like I said before I'll go around one more time and then we're gonna be out of here because it's I think five in the morning how that spread to this one here it's possible that the heat the wind blew some of it this is a one across the street for this restaurant the and so uh, radiation from the heat could have extended because it doesn't look like this one was burnt that much on just in the little corner there Dynamite. If we set off some uh, other switches, I don't know if there's any way to ascertain if it powers off from your vantage point. Mm. We don't have any visible indication. All right, 10-4. I'll just set off everything on our end that, uh, that may, may be the source of the power. It has power. It has power. It must have heating and air conditioning or... I don't know. Let me go around one more time and then we're going to be out of here. <coughs> it's 4.39 in the morning, guys. They're doing overhauling in there again. Dynamite box nine zero two. Member spoke to the occupant of four zero one at West one three six West five five. The condition was related to the outdoor dining structure fire. Okay, everything checks out. guys I guess you see what's going on here we're gonna take up and go sit around somewhere restaurant out oh my god there's a lot of twos doing searches oh 
say you can still feel some heat off those windows. Um, they're checking this over here because apparently the heat was extending to one of the windows or something over there. Also looking, I guess, for the power to the restaurant outdoor structure. take up from here guys we're gonna see what the next few hours bring it's supposed to snow one to three inches we'll see about that and then saturday a little bit more snow all right guys uh we're gonna take up it looks like 54 stretched all the way from the corner here just wanted to show you guys uh engineer there with the panel uh 23s here so uh we're gonna take up and uh oh wow guess what where the rack at there the rack at rack one let me get it right earlier i called it rack four at the central park fire this is fdny rack one there the rack at two and two see you all on the other side <laughs> 